Guys, I'm literally so upset, so upset. I recorded an entire video, an entire video for today and realized that this microphone had been turned off the entire time. So this is take two. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons and today we are going to be talking about and breaking down the official Halloween Kills teaser that was released last week with the official announcement of the brand new release date of October 15th of 2021. As I said, I recorded an entire video and now I am re-recording this video because this microphone was off. So whether or not this video is going to be as good as the one I recorded that didn't have great audio, I have no idea, but we're going to push forward anyway. So a couple of you are probably thinking, Brayden, where the heck is your Halloween Returns Part 3 video that you were supposed to do this week? Well, I was going to be doing that this week, but then we got a Halloween Kills teaser last week. So I figured that today would be the best time to break down this teaser, especially because a couple weeks ago, I did the breakdown on the Halloween 2019 behind the scenes first look teaser. So I'm like, you know what? Today is probably the ideal day to do a video like this. But don't worry, my Halloween Returns Part 3 video will be out next Myers Monday. So just a quick side note before we get started, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you that has backed and supported the Haddonfield Nightmare, which is my Halloween fan film that is an unofficial H2O sequel that will also be out next year. We currently still have our Indiegogo live. We have 15 days remaining in the campaign as of today, Monday, July the 13th. So if you guys want to get a blue ray or a dvd or if you guys just want to back the project and support us in any way i'd really appreciate that so i'm going to leave the link to that in the description box you guys can check that out yourselves and if you have any questions please direct those in the comment section so that way i can see it and i will be sure to get back to you okay let's talk about that halloween kills teaser so this teaser opens with a pumpkin and I really like the look of this pumpkin guys because it looks a little bit different than it did in Halloween 2018. With Halloween 2018, the opening credits was obviously paying homage to the original 1978 classic. The pumpkin was definitely a little bit bigger but you can tell that it was essentially the exact same look. This time around, it kind of looks more like the Halloween 2 pumpkin if I had to kind of compare pumpkins. Feel weird I'm comparing the look and saying pumpkin way too many times. But I like this shot. Whether or not this is actually going to be in the movie, I have no idea. This might actually be the opening credits. Who the heck knows? But next we get a shot of rain. It looks like it's starting to rain in Haddonfield and we see Hawkins' body laying right there. It actually, I didn't notice that until the third time I watched this teaser. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Hawkins. And it looks like it's starting to rain. And I think that this is actually pretty impactful because if it's starting to storm in Haddonfield and Michael Myers gets out of this fire, it's actually making me think this might be a little metaphor as to a storm is literally coming for Haddonfield, which I personally really like. I'm a big fan of stuff like that. So I don't know if that's what David Gordon Green, Dan McBride, and Scott teams were intending with rain or something like that. Whether or not it's actually going to be raining in the movie, I don't even know. But at the same time, I feel like that that could be a really solid metaphor. I like stuff like that that kind of gets me thinking. Now, I don't know if any of you saw it like that. I know the way that people see films can be very subjective. It's just like when somebody sees a piece of art. It's like, what do you think about this? Well, I think that this scene, if it's starting to rain and a storm is coming in Haddonfield, I actually think that what that means is that Michael Myers being out on the loose on a rainy, stormy Halloween night is that a storm is literally coming for Haddonfield, and I love that. Another thing that I caught on in the scene is with Hawkins, I feel like that if he is actually still alive, which I think is possible, because I've said this many times that when it comes down to what Hawkins died from, I've seen people survive a lot worse. Yeah, he got stabbed in the neck and then he got his legs ran over. I mean, he looked kind of dead, he wasn't moving, but at the same time, I actually genuinely feel like that it would be nice to have him and Lori maybe laying next to each other in the hospital and maybe they get a moment together like maybe right before he dies. Because in 2018, they established that Laurie and Hawkins had some backstory. I mean, Laurie called Hawkins by his first name. 
So she obviously knew who he was. And I really like the dynamic that they could have actually explored a little bit more in 2018. So I'm really hoping that he actually is alive and that maybe we actually get a scene with them together in the hospital, maybe before he actually passes away there. Or if he's actually just laying there just to be discovered by the Haddonfield Police Department or the Fire Department or a paramedic or something, you know, someone that's in law enforcement. But I think that that could be a really nice moment. And that's my two cents as to what I think that this scene could mean in Halloween Kills. Next up, we get a gate that has some balloons on it and then it has a very it movie like sound to it i know exactly what a lot of you were thinking i was thinking the exact same thing the sound that you could hear when they show the balloon shot it kind of sounded like an it movie trailer like i was like oh is pennywise gonna be making a <laughs> is pennywise gonna be making an appearance in halloween kills um but no in this movie there's actually supposed to be a halloween fair or something like that there's supposed to be a fair that um, Tommy and Marion and Lindsay are at at one point. There was actually a behind the scenes shot. This is what it looks like in case you're unfamiliar with it, but it looks like there's like a merry-go-round in the background or something. Now in my hometown, and I'm from Illinois, in my hometown we have a summer fest, uh, we have a spring fest. We normally don't have any fall fest or anything like that. Normally we, there's like pumpkin patches and stuff like that that people go to in the fall. So I'll be curious to see how a carnival or how even a fair is going to play into this movie. Um, but that's the only reason why I can think that the balloons and stuff like that were in this little teaser. It's interesting, I have to say, I'm, I just have to see how it's going to play out in the film before I can state whether or not I actually like the idea. But the scenery here, I guess, was nice. Next, we get a shot that, you know, we all knew we were going to see, and it's just of Lori's house burning. Now, whether or not this is actually going to be before um, it cuts to Lori, Allison, and Karen in the truck, I have no idea whether or not it's actually just going to open with Karen, Lori, and Allison in the truck. I have no idea. I feel like that this scene might be reversed. Like maybe it actually opens with Karen, Lori, and Allison in the truck. They see the firefighters and the paramedics going by. Lori screams, no, 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 let it burn, let it burn, which is awesome, by the way. The first time I saw that, it freaking gave me chills. And then you could hear the carpenter s score in the background you can hear that updated version of that score which i think is fantastic if that's the score if like that's actually like the tone of the score that they're going with in this movie i love it i cannot wait to see it on the uh big screen when it comes out in theaters next year but um i i wonder if that's actually going to be like that and then it cuts to the dolly up on Lori's house. I feel like that, that could maybe have been reversed. You know, like then they pull up to the house, like that's the establishing shot of the house and then you can hear the firefighters and the paramedics and they pull in and you see them getting all their gear on and getting all that stuff ready to go and then Michael Myers just completely goes crazy. Because remember, one of the shots that we got from that first look back in October of 2019 was Myers standing on Lori's front porch with a halogen which by the way Rocky Danny they're two of my firefighter friends if you guys are watching this I did call a halogen a weapon at one point but at the same time Myers is using it as a weapon so I think that it can justify as a weapon anything could be used as a weapon this water bottle can be used as a weapon if I wanted it to be. So after we get the shot of Lori's house, I already kind of jumped the gun and I talked about the scene that comes after that. It's more of like an actual clip from the movie. And it's obviously of Karen, Lori, and Allison. They're in the back of that truck. Am I the only one who's genuinely curious to see who the heck that is? I'm actually really excited to see who is driving them to the hospital. I literally feel like I'm the only one. Either way, I love this scene because it really is a powerful scene. It's actually not even powerful, it's intense. Lori Strode just wants Michael Myers to burn. She wants to leave it burn. And the reason I like that saying a lot is because it could be referring to the house or it could be referring to Michael Myers. And I think that she's referring to Michael Myers. And you know, there's been a lot of people online that have been like, she's saying him, she's saying him, or she's saying it, she's saying it. No, she's definitely saying it. I'm sorry for those of you that think that she's saying him, but go back and watch it. She's literally saying, let 
it burn. Which is awesome because in the beginning of the very first Halloween movie, Marion Chambers even asks Dr. Loomis, she's like, don't you think that you can refer to it as him? And Dr. Loomis goes, if you say so. So the fact that Laurie Strode has officially come to realize that Michael Myers is a supernatural force, he is a force of nature, I think that that's awesome. And again, the reason I really like that is because she could be talking about the house or she can be talking about Michael Myers, but I know for a fact that she's talking about Michael Myers. And then wham, we cut to the Halloween Kills title, which I actually like. I like the updated look of it. I like the orange look to it, which I feel like this would have been the official title card for the trailer. Um, had we have actually gotten the trailer. Now, whether or not this was actually going to be the real trailer that um, they were preparing, I can't confirm. I think that this might be something that they may have took from the trailer that they were maybe going to be presenting us and they had to kind of shorten it a little bit because they just needed something to please the fans with the harsh news that was released last week. But remember guys, I also think that Halloween Kills being pushed back to 2021 is a good thing. And then right after the title card, we get our look at Michael Myers and it actually looks like that he has a little bit of a burnt left side of his face because we see the right side, it looks pretty similar to what it looked like in Halloween 2018. But as he starts turning his neck, the bottom of it, you can see that it looks dark. It looks crispy. And I remember just reading online, some people were like, oh, Michael Myers' mask doesn't look burnt back when the Halloween 2019 teaser um, aired on the internet. And I was just kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt that they just didn't want to reveal anything yet. This was definitely a tease because you actually had to rewind it a couple times maybe just to look and see some of the detail that is actually on the left side of Myers' face, which I'm a huge fan of. I think that this is going to be a really damn good Halloween movie. I think that Myers is going to look absolutely chilling in this film, especially because I am excited to see what they decide to do with the mask. Now, whether they're going to show that in any of the marketing, I have no idea. But I have to say, guys, this teaser really, really got to me. I cannot wait until next October to see Halloween Kills, but you know what that means? We just get to talk more and more about it here on this channel for the next 15 months. You guys should be super stoked about that. I'm super stoked about that. And with all that being said, post your guys' comments down below. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you guys love this teaser that we got this past week? Or do you guys wish that this film was still going to be coming out this year? I already know the answer to that, guys. You guys don't even have to let me know because if you're a Halloween fan, obviously you wish that we got the film this year. But remember, guys, next year we're getting this movie in IMAX, we're getting it in Dolby Cinema, and it's we're actually getting it in theaters. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.